can be found all around us. Buildings, sidewalks, even on our bodies. But there's a particular art form that allows us to scratch the surface of our self-expression. Nail art. It's been around for thousands of years. But how do we go from this to this? First up on our list. The origin of nail treatments began way back in 5000 BC in India where women dyed their fingertips with henna. And I have a nice, thick, even coat of henna. Award-winning singer Lord even brought a version of this trend to the stage in her 2014 Grammy performance. Next, a dental duo that brought acrylic nails to the market. We just found that the material that stuck to teeth also would stick to fingernails. In the 1930s, a dentist made them in an attempt to help his clients break their nail-biting habit. Then, in 1955, another dentist by the name of Frederick Slack invented the acrylic that we use today. Discovered that we could use some of our original dental acrylics to uh, repair nails. Third on our list of the evolution of nail art, we jump to 1976 and welcome the invention of the French manicure. It's hard to say exactly who invented it, but as far as it be who it's credited to, in the nail industry most people credit it to Jeff Pink. Jeff Pink and Orly continue to pioneer the nail care industry. Fourth, the trends of today. From gel nails that last up to two weeks to the strangely popular trend that's scratching its way to the top of social media, the bubble nail. Love it or loathe it, there's no denying it's taking nails to new heights. I think that it needs its own deflate gate. It's like, where is Tom Brady when you need him? And last up, we look towards the future. Where is nail art heading? You're going to see the nail trend portion of it really go more towards an industrial trend. You're going to see a lot of like geometric shapes and simple lines like that. But ultimately, anything goes as long as you own it. Polishing up on our nail art on The Stylist.